So osimertinib is the only approved third generation EGFR TKI in the United States. And initially it was developed for patients who had already been on a first or second generation drug and developed T790M. And in the setting of T790M development as a resistance mutation to first or second generation drugs, it has a 60-70% response rate, which is great. And it can work for up to a year or longer in some patients. So really exciting option. But now we have first-line trial where the FLORA study where patients were either started on erlotinib or gefitinib or started on osimertinib. And when they were started on first-line osimertinib, the progression-free survival on average was around 19 months. Of course, there's a lot of variability for each patient, but that was the average. And when we looked, um, if you look at what's the average to start on erlotinib or gefitinib, somewhere around a year, average to go to erlotinib after progression, or the osimertinib after progression, somewhere around 10 months. You add that up, it's around 20 months. So 19 if you start with osimertinib, maybe around 20 if you start with first or second generation drug and then go to osimertinib and T790M. But not everyone who starts on a first or second generation drug is gonna develop T790M. And they're gonna have other resistance mutations which aren't gonna respond. And so you're not necessarily gonna to get to that time period. So in the US, we tend to start with osimertinib first line for that reason, because it's more likely the patient's gonna have a longer time on their first EGFR TKI, taking it orally, pretty good quality of life. Osimertinib also has less rash, less diarrhea, overall better tolerated, but we do have to be mindful of some of its unique toxicities. It can cause neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and rarely QTC prolongation, so we do have to check labs, we do have to check EKGs, especially early on.